Hi everyone, welcome back to my devlog series, where I document the development of my indie 2D isometric strategy game Sublunar, a game where you help one of the factions achieve dominance in a region by executing missions and doing strategic upgrades, while fending off bandits and subsiding revolts. Before we get into this week's topic, I have finally set a release date for the game, and it's only two weeks away. Sublunar will be available on Friday, November 13th. If you haven't already done so, this is the time. Please head over to Steam and wishlist it so you don't miss out. Links in the description. This week I want to go through the 8 essential tools I've utilized during my indie game development journey. Let's get into it. Number 1. Godot. Obviously the most important tool for developing games is the game engine and I choose Godot. If you have watched my earliest devlogs, I went back and forth between Godot and Unity for some time, finally deciding on Godot, as I've always struggled getting into the Unity mindset for some reason. My suggestion for new developers is to start out prototyping in Godot as it is much easier to get started with, in my opinion. And when you have a concept, you can go back to Unity if you prefer the robust infrastructure and large community it has around it. Or you could stick with Godot if you end up liking it, as I did. Godot is free. Number 2. Asprite. For art, I use Asprite. Completely new to pixel art, I think it was a good choice to use a tool which focuses on just that one aspect. And even though I can improve a lot, I think I achieved the look I wanted for the game in the end. Since there is many tutorials around for it, I would definitely recommend it. Asprite costs $20. Number 3. Trello. For tracking my progress, bugs and things that needs testing, I use Trello, a simplified yet flexible task management tool which lets you set up anything from a simple task list to an intricate Kanban board. With a background as a product owner, definitely not something I could live without. Trello is free. Number 4. GitHub. Code versioning is second nature for me at this point and something I do for any project day one. And I prefer GitHub. If you don't know, versioning is the way to save code at every iteration of the development so you're able to go back if something goes wrong. If you haven't gotten into the habit yet, you should. It is also essential for any development work and can save you a lot of heartache when something breaks. For the things I use GitHub, it's free. Number 5. Sketch. Sketch is definitely not an essential tool for everyone, but coming from app development, having worked as a UI designer, it is a tool I know very well and that I use daily. Mainly used for UI UX design, for game development I use it for prototyping and making marketing assets and such. Sketch costs $99, again, this is not a recommendation but I needed to include it on this list in order for it to be my essential tools. Number 6. Fontstruct. Check out my dedicated devlog if you want to get more details on it. Fontstruct I use to make the custom fonts in the game and most importantly the font icons, which is the visual identity of the game and couldn't have been achieved any other way. Fontstruct is free. Number 7. Google Sheets. Once again, I have a dedicated devlog on this. Google Sheet I use for all in-game content, including all the map layouts and icon mapping. I also use it for testing purposes, as I keep a testing document for all aspects of the game. Google Sheets is free. Number 8. YouTube. Lastly, I want to touch on YouTube. I started making devlogs early in the development of Sublunar and it was a way for me to reach out to an audience that might be interested in the game and a way to keep me accountable. 
This is why I think it is an essential tool for indie game development, as it helps you to get in touch with like-minded people during the development, getting feedback, but also making people aware of the game before it comes out. Even if I haven't amassed a super large following at this point, I'm grateful for anyone who have been watching my videos each week and who might end up buying the game in the end. Tools I use for making these devlogs are Sublime Text for writing the script, QuickTime for recording screen capture and audio, Blue Yeti Microphone for recording voiceover, and DaVinci Resolve for editing the videos. Except for Blue Yeti, which is about $100, all these tools are free. Thanks for watching. As is apparent from this list, most of these tools are free, or fairly cheap which means it is not too costly getting into game development. I can also mention that getting your game on Steam costs $100 per title. But if you have the time and the passion, there shouldn't be anything stopping you from making your own game. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video, and I will see you next week for the countdown of the release of Sublunar. Thanks.